Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of 1923 Main Street. Home of the Disney Travel Podcast with the latest Disney Travel news. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bella Braddock. And I'm Amelia Bella Braddock. And today, some more Disney 100 news, as well as an Easter foodie guide across the Disney parks. Yes, we're just back from my 106th Walt Disney World vacation since it opened. And here we are. What we noticed was, of course... The transition from 50 to 100 at Walt Disney World. But kicking it off, there's a pretty cool thing happening at Disneyland. Or is it? Because I want to try to read between the lines. That I think was a missed opportunity for Walt Disney World. It struck me when I read this story. And of course, I'm talking about what? Disneyland has launched a new Disney 100 guided tour at Disney and Resort. And this guided tour will give you the opportunity to meet a Disney animator at Animation Academy and explore the California Adventure and Disneyland Park as like a living story for the past 100 years. And this got me thinking, I think we discussed this before Disney's 50th anniversary even started. Remember when we were talking about on the show, what are some things we'd like to see? And one of them was a special ticketed event party. They didn't do any of that stuff. I'm telling you someone came up with this last november right at the end and they were like oh it's too late but 100 let's use it then because i wish they did a disney 50 tour and you know i I don't know if they'd ever do this but could you imagine how cool it would be if they did a guided tour for walt disney world 50 and took you back to discovery island which has sort of been off limits make it expensive but unique some of the cool, almost lost things from Walt Disney World in the past 50 years. That kind of stuff Maybe will really Disney appeal. Maybe Disney World 100. Yeah, will really appeal to Disney people. So when I saw this, I thought, hey, this is cool. But now let's dig into the details and... Maybe things are happening that aren't stated here. But when I read this, see if it strikes you and you in listening land as sort of, eh, what is so, like... I don't feel like there's enough special in this. Well, I want to know what it costs. Yeah, but let's talk about what it includes. So here's what Disney said. Here's what the Celebrating Disney 100 tour includes. So first thing it says is a guided walk through Disneyland Park and Disney California Adventure Park with a Disneyland tour guide. Okay, well, there's a lot of tours like that already, and I don't get anything sort of 100 special. I guess what I'm looking for is... Make it unique. Yeah, unique things that actually tie back to the... Or sure, the park is not 100 years old, but it's pretty old, right? 1955. Yeah, it's, it's have its 70th coming up in a couple of years. That's a decent age. Yeah, so Older than a lot of its guests. Right. So that's their first bullet point, a guided tour. Well, that's not really a bullet point because that's what it is. So, <laughs> And then the next one just... Is like the same thing, but with a little bit more detail. It says tours of Buena Vista Street, the Animation Academy, the Main Street Opera House, Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, and Sleeping Beauty Castle. So it feels random, but maybe. Yeah. Are those now are those things that were there originally when it opened, which again, still not Disney 100, but maybe I can see that they're tying it back to some of the more historic things. In Disneyland? Could be on the latter half, but certainly Buena Vista Street wasn't there because California Adventure was the parking lot when I first went there. You'd be like, (laughs) and what once was the parking lot? Yeah, You you know, that kind of stuff, like put some history on it. We don't know if they're going to do that, but I don't see any. So if they're trying to lure me in (laughs) to go on this tour, I'm not getting a Disney 100 feel for it. It just feels like there's actually better tours sort of behind the scenes stuff that already exists. And then, then, you know, now we're talking about a unique drawing experience at Animation Academy. Okay, well, that's okay, but that should be the bare minimum. And then now we're really, <laughs> now we're really scraping the barrel because already by point four, what is it? For a complimentary digital download of your snapshot in front of Sleeping Beauty Castle, but it is adorned with dazzling Disney 100 decorations. Yeah. And then you get a Disney 100 treat, so probably, a, you know, a cupcake or something. Yeah, a and Disney then, 100 pin. And last but not least, special viewing for the Magic Happens Parade on the day of the tour. Yeah, so you do get reserved seating. So there's some, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to always sound critical, but it's okay. I don't think I would do it because a lot of these things are just... They didn't give me enough details. Yeah, there's not enough details. That's the thing. So I guess what we're going to have to do is wait and see 
till someone goes on it and go, yeah, it was really cool. They mm-hmm. went into some history. We got to see some behind the scenes stuff. Well, how I, long is it also? I don't know. It doesn't. Exactly. So I don't know. It, I love the idea and maybe it's going to be cool. If it is, they sort of undersold it, right? They didn't give you yeah. enough here to make you get excited about it. At least not me. If it's, I feel like if, it, I mean, if it's more than $200 a person with what I'm getting right now, no, thank you. They need to do more. But I don't know. I don't know how long it is. I don't know how much they're trying to get for it. I don't know how in-depth they're going. And There maybe, are some details. I'll try to dig them out and put them in the show notes. And maybe but, it depends on the guide. Maybe, well, it always depends on the guide. But, but maybe still. it's a really different experience or maybe it's very one-size-fits-all. I guess we'll just have to wait and I see. I guess what I'm saying is other than the pin and the treat, <laughs> everything the- on here it sounds like a generic tour, which is fun like i love reserve seating on tours and things like that but i i don't get any disney 100 special feel but don't forget about the dazzling disney 100 decorations on your photo yeah which you're gonna take yourself (laughs) but don't forget about the decorations anyway so uh we'll we'll do a little bit more digging check the show notes for more information and um just hopeful that it they're under promising and over delivering that's what i'm hoping which is possible which is possible and hopeful and yeah. I do wish they did something for 50 at Disney World. So I have to say, I'm, I'm at least happy that <laughs> they're doing this. Maybe that's just what we're, right? we're trying to undersell it because we didn't get anything for yeah, Disney 50. Yeah, we didn't 50th. get anything for Disney 50. So anyway, that is it. Now, of course, Easter's here coming up. We just came back. We actually got to sample some of the things they're talking about here. But we are going to go through the Walt Disney World and Disneyland Easter foodie guides with our top picks from What's New and Walt Disney World's really pulling out the stops again. Disneyland, yeah. it's like they phoned it in, but we'll get to that well, in a minute. Well, they're too focused on 100 to yeah, deal with too Easter right now. 100 to deal with Easter. All right, so let's start at Walt Disney World. My first pick, did you agree with this one? I did. They have got some great stuff going on here all across the world, starting at All Star Movies. Yeah, at all three of them, really. All Star yeah. Sports, Movies, and Music. In the food court, because that's where you go, they have... Thumper Carrot Cake. Yeah, this is a carrot cake with cream cheese icing, and it's really, really cool looking. I love carrot cake. Simple, but, you know, definitely Easter themed, and that is definitely, it's new this year, so check it out. I'm sure the kids will love it, too. It's, yeah, it's kind of, carrot cakes are kind of a theme throughout this thing. As you know, for me personally, I also picked the Mara at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is a carrot cheesecake tart with carrot cake and pineapple and vanilla cheesecake, which also sounded delicious. There's a lot of carrot cake and cheesecakes going on, but if you're me and you love it, it's great for you. And the beaches and cream one. Now we're jumping to Disney's Beach Club Resort for something else that is new that you must have picked because yes. I did not. And it's following up on this theme. This one to me, before you say what it is, I'm <laughs> there's there's a lot of this stuff happening that's just way too over the top for me, right? So maybe if you share this exactly. or something. I was going to say, this might be a meal to split with your family. And I did indeed flag this, but I could definitely see, maybe just not when you're walking around the park at anti gravity. I would not walk around with this. But <laughs> anyway, this is at Beaches and Cream, so you're going to be around the pool area. Exactly. And just what ch- is it? Chill by the pool with your carrot cake milkshake, which is just a simple vanilla milkshake with toasted marshmallow, pineapple, and shortcake topped with a specialty carrot cake, um, which I'm sure you could remove and just sip slowly. It oh, looks g- <laughs> delicious it's and refreshing. They did this with the donut recently too, right? So yeah. it's a milkshake in sort of a, a mason jar type thing. And it's got a whole piece of carrot cake like on the top with the straw. So they're just really going... Uh, Do cr- I get to keep the mason jar? Really go- Yeah. Well, then there you go. Yeah, you get a little souvenir. All right, across the way, at uh, I w- personally am going to skip that milkshake, and I'm going to head to the boardwalk at the New Delhi. There is an Italian Easter sweet bread. So this is really cool because it's sort of that Easter-looking braided bread that you like, a round shape, but it's got citrus-scented dough, almond cream, and it's filled with a chocolate egg. Not inside the bread. It's sort of in the middle. Almost looks like a bird's nest. Yeah. So I really uh, definitely want to try this one out at the Boardwalk Deli. I'll probably be a bit full from my milkshake, but I'll definitely give it a bite. It sounds pretty good. And in keeping more with my carrot cake theme, there is at, which is a returning favorite, there is at, they have labeled it as Trillas. It is at the Grand Floridian Cottage. I tried it when I was just there. The cream cheese carrot coffee cake is so good. It is just a 
coffee cake with a slight flavor of carrot cake filled with cream cheese and it's topped with fondant and just nice sugar. I had it for breakfast. It wasn't too, too sweet, but it was absolutely delicious. Yeah, it's orange sugar and it comes in a mini sort of cake pan. Uh, they serve it. And this is a, they. This is now the second year for this cottage. So they've had, of course, the gingerbread house for years at Christmas. And last year they now added in the same spot a little cottage for Easter where they sell these treats. And they did uh, just try that one when we were there last week. We tried and a couple other things and they were all good, but stand out. That one like. is was there also last year, but this one is new. The Vanilla Bean Cupcake Sampler. So if you like cupcakes, yes. try the four vanilla bean cupcakes decorated with Easter. Nothing super special, but really good bite-sized snacks. And if you have kids in tow, they will love these as well. Yes. So that is definitely something. There's lots of stuff at the cottage. Definitely check it out. You could go back there every day and get something different. There's... I don't know, maybe 10 items, something like that. Yeah, and something for everyone. Now, a really cool one over at Disney's Riviera Resort in Le Petit Café is one they call the Golden Egg. And this, it, I love this just for aesthetics. So this is Instagram. Yeah, something out of a fairy tale. Heavily Instagram worthy. Take it outside, put it in a nice spot and get your photos. It is a raspberry mousse, milk chocolate mousse and pistachio financier. But it looks like an egg on top of a sort of golden medallion type of uh, base. Very cool looking. It's, some of these don't taste the greatest, but this one is, haven't tried it, obviously, yet. It doesn't start till April 1st, uh, which is, depending on when you're listening to the show, a few days after our recording date. So we couldn't try that one, but definitely check it out. And then over at Wilderness Lodge at Geyser Point, I have the spring margarita flight because I always have to pick... A drink. So this is new this year. It's Terramana Blanco Tequila, and there's four springtime margarita flavors. There's key lime, elderflower, lavender, and grapefruit. All of them sound good. Nice little flight if you're just sitting by the pool in the afternoon over at Geyser Point at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. And at Disney's Yacht Club Resort, really going into the aesthetics. They uh, this is at Market Ale and Compass. This we one I love too. Yes, Looks great. This one you highlighted. They look very nice, very Humpty Dumpty-esque, but a little bit of Disney magic with the Donald and Daisy decorating. This is... Easter chocolate Donald duck egg and an Easter chocolate Daisy egg. So these are actually two little eggs. Dressed up as Donald and Daisy, and Amelia immediately said, uh, looks like <laughs> Humpty Dumpty. But in a cute way. Yeah, they are very nice. Also, just like the egg over at the Riviera, these two are also highly photo worthy. And it's always fun to take them out of their element. And, yeah. you know, if you can, you know, take them outside or somewhere looking really cool, uh, you know, over at Yacht Club, there's yeah. a lot of cool places in the lobby where you could set this up. Gives you something to do while well, I'm sipping on that milkshake yeah, from Beaches you're and Cream. Be with that milkshake for quite a while. <laughs> and that is fine with me yeah now, that's all we had from Walt Disney World and you know there's a lot of stuff here so check out the full guide we only highlight what's new Disneyland literally um, I don't know what's going on there if they're light on pastry chefs they have only one thing that is new this year and it's not even a dessert you know what? It sounds but good. But you though. highlighted it. It sounds I don't like fish, so I wouldn't eat this. I would eat this. So this is fish and chips, which is at Smoke Jumper's Grill. In and uh, California, California Adventure, Adventure, my favorite park of, you know, the two. So this is very close to the entrance to the, the Grand Californian. Yes, this is available through April 9th, and it's available on mobile order because, of course, it is. And this is a beer-battered local rockfish and crinkle-cut fries served with remoulade, slaw, and lime. And there is also a kid's version available, which is probably what I would get because I want extra fries. Uh, so, but And their, their crinkle-cut fries at Smoke Jumpers are very good. So yeah. why don't you have the fish? I'll have the fries and we're good to go no but it's a nice thought it's a very nice thought so i would definitely give this a try it sounds pretty good and of course disneyland does have some other returning favorites if you want to look at those in our show notes so there you go if you are heading there we caught the beginning of easter unofficially there are easter eggs out now they're not as good as some of the eggs in the past but they are very good in the they're lobby very nicely decorated. and we actually saw one being created by the artist they had him working in the lobby so that was actually pretty cool yeah, they're pretty good. There's some good ones. Um, and there's some okay ones at the Contemporary as well. So we definitely checked out those. We'll post some photos, etc. There you have it. We hope you enjoyed the show this week. That is the news you are all caught up. Follow along on social media at 1923 Main Street. We'll see you again next week and have a magical day. Bye-bye.